Crazy purchased 309 and 8,800 square feet of carpet for her rectangular living room. If your living room's width is 12 and 2 tenths feet, what is the length? Okay, I can already tell by looking at this, just by seeing square feet, that we're talking about area. The fact that she's filling her living room with carpet also tells me that I'm correct in that we're dealing with area. And remember, the, the um, formula for area is length times width. So in this case, we know what the width is. We don't know what the length is. So we're going to have to use a variable. So we know that the width is 12, 12 and 2 tenths feet. We don't know what the width, uh, the length is, so we're going to just call that x. I guess we could also call it, let's call it l. We'll call it l for length. Any number next to a variable is multiplied, so we don't even have to put a multiplication sign or anything. The reason you don't do that is because if your variable is an x, it's hard to tell if you're talking, when you put an x in there, if you're talking about the variable or if you're actually multiplying. And we know that these two multiply by each other equal 309 and 88 hundredths square feet. When you're talking about algebra, you want to get the variable all by itself. And in order to get rid of the number that's next to it, you have to do the opposite of what you're doing. So to get rid of the 12 being multiplied by 12 and 2 tenths, I have to divide by 12 and 2 tenths. Then I can come back over and I can cross cancel. Those two cancel each other out, and that leaves the L by itself. Now I'm going to have to divide 309 and 88 hundredths feet by 12 and 2 tenths. Anytime you divide by a decimal, you cannot have the decimal in the divisor. So I'm going to have to move the decimal out, and in order to do that, I just move it to the right, to the end of the number. And for this problem, I'm going to have to move it over one place to the right. Since I moved the decimal one place to the right in the divisor, I now have to go to the dividend and also move the decimal one place to the right. So now, decimal is over here. I don't have a decimal in the divisor anymore. Now I can divide. Remember when you divide using a decimal you're going to just take the decimal and move it up to the top. Okay and then you just divide. So the length is 25 and 4 tenths feet. Now, I am never satisfied with just keeping it like that. I'm going to go back and check my work to make sure I'm correct. Because when you're dealing with stuff like this, you can make careless mistakes. So I now know that my length is 25 and 4 tenths feet. My width is 12 and 2 tenths. So I'm going to take those two numbers and multiply by each other, and it should equal 309 
an 8800. Now remember, when you're multiplying by a decimal, you don't worry about the decimal until the very end. Okay, so I have decimals in this number, and you go up to the top, how many numbers are behind decimals in the problem? There's two numbers behind decimals in the problem, so my answer is going to have two numbers behind the decimal. Does it match? Yes, that means I am 100% correct. You need to always check your work. That's how you keep from making careless mistakes. Always check your work.